it's in the field where the real archaeology happens. This will be our first excavation spot. The mound that sits just in front of the other mound, closest to the sea there, which is a confirmed Bronze Age grave. I'm thinking, if I was a chieftain back in the Bronze Age, and I wanted to be the chieftain of the chieftains, then I would build my grave, or get buried, slightly higher up than the loser who is buried there close to the sea. Let's stop talking, start digging, let's go. I have now spent some time here and I'm very happy with what I got so far. Let me show you. Four shilling rigsment in silver. And that would be Frederikus the number seven, I think. 1860 something. Very nice. What's that? 40% silver perhaps? That's why it's so worn. Silver is always nice, but a uh, loose find like this will not add that much to the history of this area. But yeah, silver in the pocket. Half a horseshoe brings half the luck. I think, I think there's a good possibility we're onto something here. Here we go. Oh, is this an extra one? Yeah, I always get a spare one. Ah, okay. That's, I like, for, that's I like, for the small ones. I like the kids' ones. <laughs> what did you find? Uh, old washer. Oh. It's a good signal. A very, very worn coin. But I believe this one is of importance to the story. Uh, I think it's the oldest one so far. I cannot make out what it is. This is the furthest back in time we have gone so far. So that's good. There's been people around for a long, long, long time here. I want to see finds like bronze weapon, brooches, pearls, amber, something like that that would confirm that there really is a bronze age dude buried there. Something round smiling in the hole kind of looks like a roman coin but no nah. button just a button no inscription no nothing very worn the burial mounds are also a good indicator that the terrain hasn't changed that much in the past three or four thousand years so I'm thinking that's a really good spot in between and on the slopes. Let's focus our investigation there next. Danish people! Ah. Oh my god! That was a deep can. And it's empty. Ah. Wow, that was a big morale buster. I feel like you guys should give me a thumbs up for that effort. It's cold and miserable here. Whew, such wind, such wind. Jesus Christ, what kind of a clown came up with this idea? It's impossible here in the shrubs. Oh, they don't pay me enough for this. Oh, oh my God. Whew. Okay, let's investigate together. Very deep. There it is. There it is. Could it really be silver? Could it be silver? Looks good. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a big, enormous button. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. Button in the pocket. 
I'm sure there's some bronze edge stuff lying around because they have to be connected to burial mounds next to each other. I'm sure people would have walked from one to the other or maybe hanged around there in the middle, dancing, drinking, dropping stuff. Three shouts. He had three silver coins. Oh my god. It could potentially be a coin spill. You had some silver coins? Are they all the same? Um, these two are. Were they in the same hole? No, there's one right here, the other one right over there, yeah. and then a few meters behind it. Probably the same spill though. With that many silver coins dropped in one place, we believe that this was a place for dancing and partying. You know, when you dance, you drop the coins, right? You're a little bit um, intoxicated. So probably best parties in the 1800s in Denmark took place right here, right here. Strange discovery indeed. I might need your help figuring this one out. I don't know what it is. Here it is. Looks like a box. Gave a very good signal. I did a little bit of digging inside it and ash sawdust maybe? On second thought I think this is a Zippo, Zippo lighter. So the ash might indicate that it's a Zippo, Zippo as well. I like the name Zippo, Zip Zip. Got some good discoveries here but I'm still looking for that really ancient thing. Haven't found that yet that would confirm Bronze Age man was fooling around here.